Fractions, decimals, and percents are different ways of expressing the same information. So for example, 3 twentieths is the same thing as 15 hundredths, which is the same thing as 15%. To convert a percent to a decimal, basically replace the percent sign with division by 100. Again, per cent, mean, the per means divide, cent means 100. So replace that percent symbol with divide by 100. For example, to convert 32% to a decimal, 32% is 32 divided by 100, so 0 0.32. And again, what happens here is that the decimal point is just basically going to move two places to the left. So 15% means I'm going to move the decimal two places to the left. I will end up with 0 0.15. 1.27% becomes 1.27. 0.074%, I move the decimal two places to the left, and I end up with 0 0.00074, so 74 uh, hundred thousandths. And then 100%, I move the decimal two places to the left, I end up with 1. If I want to go from decimals to percents, I just keep in mind that last statement that uh, Previously, 100% is the same thing as 1. And recall that multiplicative identity property is that multiplying by 1 doesn't change anything. So to convert from a decimal to a percent, we multiply by 1 or multiply by 100%. That means we move two, the decimal two places to the right and then keep the percent sign. So if I want to change 0.93, 93 hundredths to a percent, 93 hundredths times 100 percent, the decimal moves two places to the right, and I end up with 93 with a percent symbol. So each of these, 0.25 to the right, uh, becomes 25 percent. 1.255 becomes 125 and 5 tenths percent. I move the decimal twice to the right, I end up with 0. Point, uh, whoops, that's not white. I end up with 0. 0.35 percent. Seven. Um, let's assume there's a couple zeros there. You can add as many zeros as you want after the decimal place. So, two places to the right, end up with 700 percent. And then 0. 0.333 bar, uh, repeating. I move the two places to the right. I end up with 33.3. You can also write as 33.3 .3 bar percent as well. Converting percents to fractions. So to convert a percent to a fraction, basically repl uh, replace the percent sign with division by 100 and simplify. So 70% to a fraction is 70% is equal to 70 divided by 100. Uh, so 70 over 100, and that reduces to 7 tenths. So 12% is the same thing as 12 over 100. And then I can divide the top and bottom by 4. I end up with 3 over 25. 57% is 57 over 100, and that's about as simple as it's going to get. 115% is 115 over 100. I can divide by 5, um, that comes out to 23 over 20, or you can write as 1 and 3 twentieths. And then 0.2% is saying 0 0.2 over 100, which is not a proper fraction. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by 10. So I end up with 2 over 1,000. That is a proper fraction, but I can also divide by 2 and end up with 1 over 500. And then finally, to convert fractions to a percent, uh, there's a couple ways, but one way is uh, if your fraction is simple enough, just rewrite your denominator in term, uh, as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. So to convert a fraction to a percent, write the equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100, then write the numerator with the percent symbol. So to convert two-fifths to a percent, 
Well, I would need to multiply the top and bottom by 20 to get that denominator of 100. So 2 times 20 is 40 over 100, so 40%. So 33 over 50, I can multiply the top and bottom by 2, and that becomes 66 over 100. So that's 66%. Uh, 25, 17 25th, so I would need to multiply the top and bottom by 4. 17 times 2 is 34, times 2 is 68 over 100. So this is 68%. And then 4 fifths, well, 5 goes into 120 times, so, so let's multiply the top and bottom by 20. And I end up with 80 over 100, which reduces to 4, whoops, no, that's not what I, forget that part, which is 80%.